I'm Danny Lozano and I'm the creator of the Silver War. What secrets can I reveal? Five years after, I will talk about it. This is the story. I don't know the exact reason why. It's just fantastic. Of one of the greatest Formula One video. So, Wolfsbums, are you ready to watch the original Silver War? Five years. Welcome to the Silver War 5th anniversary. Wait, 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 wait. That's super important because some people is confused about the title of two of my documentaries. The Silver War and Origins of the Silver War is not the same video. It's not the same documentary. In this video, we are talking about the Silver War. The Silver War is the Formula One documentary that I made in 2016 about the 2016 Formula One season. The season where Nico Rosberg fought against Lewis Hamilton for the title and the final winner was Nico Rosberg. How was born the idea? In 2015, I make a documentary, the first documentary of this channel, Battle First Year in Red. That was the first video that helped me to, to be known in, in YouTube with the Formula One documentaries. And after 2015, after the, the great audience Battle First Year in Red achieved, I said I had to do something similar, another documentary. People like these kind of videos. Around um, April 2016, when uh, Formula 1 2016 season was in the fourth race, I think, in Russia. Um, Hamilton and Rosberg fighting for the championship. Rosberg has a big lead in the first races. And in this moment, I started thinking I had to try to make a documentary about the, the title fight. And in this moment, Rosberg had, um, I don't know, around 20, 25, 30 points advantage with Lewis, only four races complete. I thought, yeah, Rosberg has a big lead now, but uh, still a long way to go. I'm sure Lewis Hamilton turn around the situation and he will fight back, and I'm sure he will fight until the end for the championship. And after that, in the race number five in Spain, I was like in the first moments of the documentary and then sitting in the sofa watching the, the Spanish Grand Prix in the first lap, Rosberg and Hamilton colliding each other. It was a shocking moment for me watching the TV but at the same time I said, wow, this is, unfortunately this is perfect for the documentary. From now this is perfect to will a story between these two drivers, now they collide each other. And in this moment I said, now definitely I have to continue making the documentary because I'm sure it will be thrilling to watch until the end after this clash between the Mercedes drivers. With only 5 races complete of the season, was a bit risk because who knows, maybe Hamilton or Rosberg won easy, a championship decides not in the final race in Abu Dhabi, maybe it's this size before. But anyway, I, I took the risk editing the documentary in, in May. I start around final days of April and first days of May. Immediately I saw the title. I said, yeah, it's about Mercedes. Mercedes is known as the Silver Arrows and this is a team battle for the championship. So the Silver Battle don't sound really exciting, really Reading like a, a movie title, no? And I thought, oh, war, war is the right word, uh, the silver war. And immediately I put the title, the silver war. I think it describes really well what this this documentary is. The logo type is simple. The Mercedes logo, a laurel crown. That means which is a battle in a team that it's a champion team, it's Mercedes, and in that time was double Formula One world champion drivers and constructors after winning 2014 and 2015 season. The color sits around silver and Rosberg and Hamilton in one of the drivers in one side, the other driver in the other side, like facing in the distance because it's a, you know, this is the silver war, it's a teammate battles war. What you're gonna see now is the first time that I will show you on public. It will be the first design that that I made for the thumbnail, the cover image of the documentary, The Silver War. This is something that I never published because this version was the first prototype and it's this one. This is the first thumbnail that I designed for The Silver War. As you can see, there's a lot of different things. It's more basic 
and simple as a graphic designer I evolve as well. Those times in 2016 I just finished my studies of graphic design. The logo you can see how simple it is with the Mercedes logo on the background in white very very light and the, the letters. The typography is the same this is the only thing that I didn't change. The photos of Roswell and Hamilton are different as well are like transparent with the cloudy background and the thunders here and, and the back at the bottom of the picture the two Mercedes drivers these cars are the Mercedes of the 2015 season no, no the 2016 season so that's something that at the beginning I was thinking mm, maybe I will change it but the problem was that I didn't found a picture like this with the cars of the 2016 season and I really like this photo I decided to maintain it uh, this is the old Fluff logo as you can see but this is not the version that I published at the end on YouTube because this version I made it when I was editing the documentary around, I don't know, in summer 2016, something like that. And during the process, and before to publish the documentary, was improving this version a bit and this was the result. If you are really veteran and you watch my documentary on YouTube, probably you will recognize this thumbnail. This is the, the thumbnail the design that I upload with the original version of the Silver World to YouTube. The first version, much better. I improved the cloud, the background, the logo is different. I added the laurel crowd for the first time. The Mercedes logo is a bit more shiny. The first version is really, really basic. The Silver World letters are shadowing. And the cars, I decided to maintain the colors in all in the cars with the background in black and white. And also I changed the photos of Rosberg and Hamilton. Much better, in my opinion, than this one. And the final one, the current thumbnail that you can watch actually in the remastered version, I did it three years later to this one. Obviously, I improved a lot. I was a much better graphic designer. I knew better techniques to create an edit image. This is the actual thumbnail that you can watch in the remastered version. There's a big, big improvement, I have to say, especially the logo. I dedicated a lot of hours to remaster the logo. You can see the sign, the 3D textures, the the letters, the lower crow signing, you know, it's something that you can say it's really, really professional now, but obviously three years later, I had much more knowledge. The I found cool Roswell and Hamilton pictures, looking to the camera and the cars. I found this picture. I would like to find a photo like this one, but with the cars exactly in a front view, 100% from view not like this one which is a bit moved to the right side but anyway you can spot on the difference from the first version to the second with the stair there's there's obviously a big big improvement and you can see in the low this is the first low that i decide to create for the first documentary and the logo of the remaster version it's like in life everyone evolves in all aspects and in this case as a creator of this documentary, I want to improve the experience and the graphics are a very important part of this to build and create the story of the Silver War. I'm really proud of the progress and I think this, this logo, the current one, the thumbnail, represents exactly what I want to transmit, to show to the world with this documentary, the Silver War. Music for me is the 50% of my videos because the music tells more things that we realize. If you select the right song for the right moment, the connection is perfect and creates like a, a special moment, a magic moment watching the screen. I had clear on mind for this documentary, I want to step up what I did with Vettel first year in red and I want to find the, the right music for the right moment in the documentary. On Patreon, I post the complete music list of the documentary, including links to every single soundtrack. Some of them are not available because I was not able to find it. For example, the first one that sound it's Enchiridion by Evan King. I select this music because when I listen it uh, for the first time, it was the perfect soundtrack to start a project like this. I was finding something between epic and dark at the same time, you know? 
something that introduced a battle between two rivals on track where the rivalries present in every moment, the tension, the pressure, you know. This music is the perfect soundtrack for an intro of a documentary like this one. Dun, dun, dun. And now appears Roswell and Hamilton in front, walking together, you know, and show you, you watch this scene a lot of times. Boom. In the last scene, when appears the, the Rosberg's car, is the last footage of the intro. When I was editing this, that was around April 2016, and I was thinking, oh, imagine he is the world champion this year. If it's not, I would um, sue to put Lewis Hamilton in the last scene, because I would like to represent the, the car of the driver champion that year. But in the moment I was editing this, in May 2016, the championship was in the early stages, but I decided to put the Rosberg car. Finally, it was, was like a little prediction, you know? One of your favorites is this one, Ascent to the Sky. This is one of your favorite. You wrote me a lot of time in the comment. What is the name of this music? It's Ascent to the Sky by Amina Septi. That was the soundtrack that I used to edit in the Chinese Grand Prix of 2016. There's 21 races. I was looking for the right song for, for every race. With YouTube and music is a tricky question uh, because the, the copyright is really, really strict. I didn't want to have copyright problems because of the music. So I tried to find little artists uh, on YouTube with uh, no many views. I remember to be on my bed, looking for my mobile, uh, listening 50, 60, 70 different soundtracks of many different artists in, before to go to bed. Meanwhile, I was listening I was thinking mm, maybe this music can fit for this moment or I now I need this kind of music for the next editing that I'm making. A hard process during the whole year, but uh, definitely was worth it because the, the music is I think one of the of the keys uh, because this, this documentary wo works so well. My favorite soundtrack of the whole documentary, one of the first I found was this one, The Edis of Thunder. If you watch this documentary a couple of times, you will recognize this song, immediately you listen it. Just got out ahead of Raikkonen, but he is behind Max Verstappen. So, Goosebumps every time I listen it. Well, the story of this soundtrack, it's interesting because this one was one of the first that I found when I was searching for music for the documentary. And I was thinking that I will need a lot of soundtracks because there's uh, 21 races this season, I will need a lot of soundtracks. When I listened this soundtrack for the first time, when I was starting to edit in the documentary, I said, wow, this is the perfect soundtrack to put it in the final part of the documentary. If the championship is decided in the last race of the season, I will use this soundtrack because it's the perfect one to decide a title fight. I have a proof of that. In the comment section of this video, I wrote a message to the composer. Five years ago, this track is absolutely a masterpiece. I will use this track in a big project that I'm doing and I will finish in December. The project was the Silver World, but in this moment, only me knew that he was making that. There's interesting responses to my comment. In Abu Dhabi, and it's like so, and away we go. Flot, yeah, you use it for the Silver World. People is remind me that I use it. That's the story and I think it's really amazing. And there's a funny story with that, with the beep beep sound. It was an idea that I had every time one of the two drivers change the position in race uh, to add a beep beep sound to let know to the audience that there's a change position. There's some are more high tone when they up a position and are more down tone when they lose a position. Uh, but the problem was that I didn't create a connection between the beep beep sound with a graphic that helps to understand people that this sounds means a position change. Okay, the problem with the driver position marks in the original documentary was this one. The first design I made for the graphics when 
driver's chain position with the beep beep sound I add this mark every time a driver chain position this mark pop up three times The problem was it's very very tiny and light in a white color which is not really really visible depending on the, on the footage and a lot of people didn't realize of these marks so when the beep beep sound sound in the documentary some people thought the sound came from his house or whatever they were watching the documentary not the documentary itself i remember some comments in the first version of the silver world that, that tell me <laughs> that they, they thought forgot to to disactivate the dishwasher on, on the kitchen being while they were watching the documentary because they they were thinking uh, was some kind of device of his home that was sound what i made for the remastered version was to create a graphic that was more clear to watch and to associate to a chain position and this is where is the name of the driver in the remastered version and i eliminate the marks i added this green square at the border so every time a driver chain position the beep beep sound was along to this flashing green light so in this way it's more visible Well, obviously this documentary blow up the numbers of my my channel my channel passed from 700 subscribers to 10,000 subscribers in less than a year after published the silver war and after that all my videos start to gain views because people start to sharing my content in social media especially the formula one reddit community and one of the biggest things that help to grow this documentary or to be known around the world was your support through the comments, through the views, through the sharings with your friends or family. I think the best example was the F1 Reddit community. Reddit is one of the biggest platforms where people talk about one specific topic and obviously Formula One is one of the biggest. Through the years I received messages telling me you are sharing my content. I realized really, really soon Reddit was one of the main sources from external traffic that I could see on my YouTube analytics. Most of the views of the external sources came from Formula One Reddit. And you can see posts from five years ago, how people start to share in it. Obviously this, this link is broken right now because it linked to the old version in YouTube that actually is, is blocked. People's comment, this guy makes amazing beats, two hours compilation, that's dedication. A lot of Reddit posts as this one, The Silver War 2016, a documentary about the rivalry between Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton during the Formula 1 2016. This is fascinating, I didn't know a lot about this one before, this movie, and now I can't wait to watch the new season of F1 play out. Well, this kind of comments is one of my favorites when, when people write that, that they start to watch Formula 1 thanks to my documentaries, my videos is wow the silver war very fan made video by flaws people who compilate season reviews about formula one they include my documentary in this phenomenal list here the silver war 2016 fan made documentary about the 2016 season and the rivalry between mercedes drivers edit by legendary flaws people compare what i create with another professional documentaries for me such a honor people asking about the story of nico rosberg and lewis hamilton immediately when people asking about this rivalry the community recommend to the new viewers to watch my documentary watch the silver war by flows on youtube people sharing the best movie series and documentaries about formula one because people is new fans are trying to find movies series or documentaries are worth looking at and immediately once again people start to recommend Rust and the silver war again those 2016 by flows this was my first docu i had to be so grateful for these persons that start to share this documentary and they help to blow up even more in numbers the, the doku i had to say thank you to them uh, thank you to all people who spend time writing an amazing comment or just sharing it this is a, another beautiful part that I'm, I'm really proud of it even people in blogs they 
great posts about the Formula One rivalries, Vettel Weber, Hakim and Schumacher, Piquet Mansell, and they include the Rosberg and Hamilton rivalry as one of the best. The rivalry is often termed as Silver War. People know this rivalry in now in, in, on internet as the Silver War, the concept that I create, and this is not because I was very original or I create a very cool marketing name. This is thanks to you because you start to share in this documentary to talk very very good about it, to recommend the silver war to everyone. As I said it's crazy to see that I create a legacy around this rivalry. People can name it as the silver war. It's just fantastic. Are you ready to watch the original silver war that is host? In YouTube I will show you this is my YouTube panel of flaws this is the video you can watch the title the silver war upload in December 17 2016 this is the original version you can see the, the view count 1 million 452 and 30 views as you see is removed by a copyright claim the video is still here it's removed but I the only one who can watch it Do his teammates got the inside line they touched again with the title, the description, you know. It receives a copyright claim by Formula One. And to be honest, it's weird because normally Formula One claim your videos, but they let you to maintain in public for everyone. Just they can monetize it and to gain the money from it. Not sure if they do it or not. In this case, it was claimed by F1 in, in Jan 2018, after being published two and a half years. February 2019, around eight months after was copyright claim the first time i appealed the video to try to make it public again and youtube gave me the reason and they let me to put public the video again for everyone but some weeks later once again uh, formula one claimed the video and this time was removed automatically I didn't understand the reason i have my theory that i will share with all of you i use a lot of music from very very different art artists and probably one of them claimed the music and maybe one of these music composer monetized the video my video because when youtube detects you are using music from from third parties there's different actions and sometimes the music composers or the companies where the music is host can monetize your video and put ads the money comes from there from them maybe f1 when detect this video they understood that this video was generating money using content from Formula One. And I think that's the reason why they tried to monetize my video, but some music composer did it before. Maybe for Formula One was impossible to claim the 100% on the video. These companies, these music companies were gaining money from it and Formula One decided to claim the video and to take it down for avoid a third party or another company apart from Formula 1 was generating money and that's the story. A lot of people ask me about that. Nowadays I don't know the exact reason why this documentary was took down. I have the theory I say you now. Fortunately, the Silver War, the remaster version, which is even better than this one, it can be watched and I will tell you how you can watch it. Welcome to my Patreon and here you can watch the remaster version The Silver War 2016 Lewis Hamilton versus Nico Rosberg Be careful because The stumble and the mistake at the time but You can see it's the original one but it's remastered Better graphics, better audio, it's on Patreon and everyone can watch it Also I put the links to most of the soundtracks of the film where you can listen every single soundtrack clicking in the link it will redirect you to the original music and the music composer you really like this work that i'm making as content creator you can support this channel here there's two memberships fan and legend where you can get different rewards and advantage and you can check it i will Put you the link here i publish exclusive content for patreon actually we are deciding the title of the new documentary hamilton versus verstappen i reveal to the people graphics of the future videos and documentaries there's a lot of content very interesting about my war and previous videos that i made in the past if you want to take a look patreon.com slash floss you have the link in the card in the description and in the comments below why i create the silver war 
That's the good question. The Silver World was just an idea, a project to show to everyone Formula One is not only about cars. Formula One is not only about drivers doing cycles around the world. Formula One, it's like a film. That's what I try to do with the Silver World, to represent a battle, a real battle, like a film. The spirit of this documentary, the reason because I made it, was the strange feeling I had inside of me that a lot of people that is not watching Formula One is missing right now. And it worked because during these five years I received thousands of messages and some of them repeating during the time. And one of the messages that was repeat was I never watched a Formula One race in my life but after watching your documentary I've become in a Formula One fan. Because for me it's the maximum, the pinnacle of I could achieve making this documentary, making the Silver War. I don't know how when you dreaming and you compare in reality what you have on your mind, if you are really passionate on it, if you really put all your soul, your talent and your creativity in whatever you do or you make, you will achieve exactly where you are thinking. And that's what happened with this documentary and that makes me realize how powerful it's our mind and also our desire to come true our dreams. Sounds like fantasy, but Thanks to this documentary, I experimented that. The Silver War defines, creates, and built the dream I have in my mind five years ago. And that's the most beautiful part of this story. But the Silver War was like 